This conference will now be recorded. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Greg Morton. It's Sunday, January 9th, 2022. And this is the weekend update for the Greenville Eastside IBD Meetup Group and the Stockyard Meetup Group for Can Slim Grow Stock Investors. As always, this is for educational purposes only. I recommend any stocks or securities to buy or sell. And all investing has substantial risk of big losses. So we want to learn first and only then invest. So today we'll look at the M factor, um, the train wreck returns, look at the current trading plan. We're in a risk off environment. Look at last weekend's watch list and a few other charts just showing you how quickly this market has trashed um, a lot of things that we're looking constructive. And then our monthly meeting is coming up this Tuesday, two days from now. So I'll talk about the agenda for that briefly. So as we know, the M factor is the most important can letter in can slim. Um, if the M is wrong, nothing else is going to be right. We look at three things in this order of priority, the action of leading stocks. Um, we're sort of seeing a third wave of the leaders break down now. Actions of stocks owned. Um, last weekend, we were surviving, not thriving. Actually, we're getting crushed this week. So I should have updated that. We'll look at the market pulse distribution day count and price and volume on the indexes. <clears throat> so among the leaders, um, we'll look at some of the charts. We're seeing the last batch of the, the big growth trees seem to be falling. Um, we'll look at those charts. And then we'll also look at the indexes. So let's get out of here and go to Market Smith. Start with the index. So here's the NASDAQ. This is the daily chart. Um, you can see that after an update on Monday, we just had a cascade of selling this week. Wednesday was particularly bad, down over 3%. I'm going to call that Wicked Wednesday. That's when the Fed minutes came out at 2 o'clock. And if the Fed minutes had come out at noon, that would have been a distribution day because the volume would have been higher. Um, it was a bad day. It, while it technically was not distribution as defined by IBD, because the volume was down, it was still a heavy, heavy selling day and gross stocks. I mean, they really got hit on Tuesday. And then Wednesday got worse and the rest of the week did not improve. Come down, slash through all three of the top moving averages, 10s down, 21 days down, nothing constructive. RS line looks terrible. S&P 500, in a minute we'll see it flip to yellow on the MMTS trend line this week. Again, came down, sliced through three moving average lines, terrible wicked Wednesday with the Fed minutes and the Fed changing what they had been telling us, which is about the third time they've changed what they told us, and came down to the 50 days, so looking to try to get support there. The NYSE, and we see divergence, and this is holding the 21 and the 50 um, RS lines pointing up, so we see that index is, is hanging in there, and the Dow is sort of gonna look the same. Um, broke the 10, but holding the 21 day, in the 50 and the 200 day. And then small caps, this is looking really bad. Here's 10% off, so the Russell is actually in, officially in a correction. Once again, it did it here, one, two, three. So we're down under there, broken all the moving average lines, um, came up to the 50, bumped his head, and again, had the wicked Wednesday like the other indexes. S&P 600, um, similarly, broke three moving average lines, had the wicked Wednesday, so just not looking constructive. We flip over to the coloring book, we can kind of see, so notice all the changes this week. In fact, the um, Russell and the NASDAQ went straight to red, did not pass yellow, did not pass to collect $200. Um, S&P flipped, IBD on wicked Wednesday went back to uptrend under pressure. We see the S&P 6 went to yellow. So really the only two that are still green are the NYSE and the Dow. And the window of opportunity is still open, but you can just see how bad that day was. 3.34% on the NASDAQ. So we'll talk about that further at our meeting on Tuesday and get into the concept of um, potential vertical violations. And then finally, if we look at the group teaching portfolio, just a terrible start to the year, down 5.6% in one week, only 12% invested um, with everything that got stopped out this week to the downside, not to the upside. Um, so this just confirms what we just looked at. 
everywhere else. The only thing I forgot to mention on the coloring book. So there's, you know, we had four selling days this week and two of them were official distribution days. And my buy sell day count, I only have seven buying days and 12 selling days in the last 25 day window, which goes back to the, the orange block. So that's, again, lots of confirmation of we are in a bad environment right now. So in light of all that, um, back to red light conditions, it's a train wreck out there currently for grow stocks. It's gonna take a lot to clean this one up. It will get cleaned up eventually, it always does, but um, it's not good. So current trading plan on the buy side for grow stocks um, is the no button currently. Again, things can change quickly, but um, pretty bad start to the year so far. And as always, it's great to remember canceling works better when the NASDAQ is trending above an uptrending 50-day line. We do not have that now. Canceling works best when the NASDAQ is trending above an uptrending 21-day EMA line. We do not have that. Um, we're just in an extremely hostile environment right now for growth in stocks. Again, for growth stocks. Again, it can change quickly, but um, not good is the current weather report. And we'll see what the, we don't do weather forecast, but not good. All right, so let's go back to Market Smith um, and just look at a few things. So these were charts, go to weekly charts. Some of these were the ones I showed you last weekend. So here's a um, we sent two IPOs, terrible week, ugly weekly bar, low range close, high volume um, compared. Of course, the holiday weeks were low. Olaplex, same thing, down 16% um, for the week, not good. AMAT, this is one of the big caps, knocked back down to the 50 day. And then um, some of these were on my watch list last weekend. It just got trashed. I mean, these charts were looking good. If you take away last week's bar, um, they were positive. Here, let's just go to the watch list. So my top tier watch list, which I'm pretty picky with, had six stocks on it weekly. You can just see, I mean, we just had, or we can go to daily charts too, you know, just a cascade of selling. Tuesday, Wicked Wednesday, I mean, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wicked Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Datadog, same thing, looked like it was setting up above the 50-day, just a cascade of selling on volume. Globant, same thing, I, I mean, lost the 50 and the 200-day in one week, goodness. Femtech, same thing, slashed through the 50. Diodes, same thing, and Dava, same thing, in Dava. So if we, let's just go through those weekly, and you can just see what ugly weekly bars these were. Um, oops, sorry, go back up to the top. Start with WST. So, so you can see down 16.75% for the week, down almost 20% for the week, down over 20% for the week, down 10% for the week, down 8.82% for the week, DAVA down 23%. Um, again, these all look constructive one week ago, and now they're just totally trashed. So you can see what the, the M factor has done to the growth stocks currently. Oh, and I was going to, I meant to show you. So here's the batch of um, the big leaders. Let's just look at them on weekly charts. So here's Tesla, looked like it was gonna break out Monday on those great sales numbers, reversed, came down under the um, 50 day, 10 week from weekly chart. Google, looked like it was one of the leaders, ugly bottom of its base, ugly weekly bar. Microsoft, looked like it was trying to go somewhere, ugly weekly bar. Amazon, down under the 200 day, Netflix, and NVIDIA, under the 50 day. So all these that were, you know, these were sort of the last group of leaders. We've already seen the speculative high growth leaders like Upstart, Affirm, um, stocks that had very nice runs, DocuSign, Zoom, whatever you want to pick. You know, all those have gotten trashed. Some of them 
a little more further back than recently, and then some of them in the first wave down. So just not too much constructive there. So monthly meetings, um, we meet this Tuesday, a regular monthly meeting, which are the big um, two hour plus meetings, and we'll do live chart review and Q&A at the end of the meeting. Here's the agenda. Um, in light of what happened last week, I added a new educational topic, which is there in red, I called it a walk in the woods. We're gonna go look at at least five prior bear markets, um, four of those five being the most recent four, and, and just study them. I'm sorry, the most recent two, and then we'll go back and look at 2000 and the 2007, 2008 financial crisis bear markets. And then we'll look at the last two bear markets, sort of see what they look like. And we'll go back and look at an earlier one when um, inflation was rearing its ugly head. And I may throw in some more, we'll see. And then we'll do some post analysis in the group teaching portfolio. Um, as usual, we'll do can slim nuggets from IBD Live over the last month talk about the IPO market real briefly. Um, watch list stocks, you know, what stocks? We'll see, um, they're not in the growth area. And then we'll do Q&A. So that's at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can sign up at the Stockyard Meetup site. Those are $12 for the monthly meetings. First timers get a courtesy copy of the December meeting recording, slide deck, and related links. Everybody who signs up gets the recording, the slide deck, and any other articles or things I send out that may be pertinent, I'll send out those links after the meeting. So here's a list of our prior meetings. These are available um, to order, recordings, the slide decks, related links. Um, if you don't have a written set of sell rules, um, great time to be studying. So, and do that. We covered that over three meetings at the beginning of 2021. And then also, if you don't have a good weekend routine, we I updated and um, did an expanded one in September of this year, and it flowed over a little bit into October. And I've got to add December in, um, on here, but again, if you sign up, you'll get that one anyway. So there's contact information, um, meetup sites, Greenville Eastside IBD meetup and the Stockyard meetup site. Email me if you're interested in ordering prior webinars, just let me know that. I'll send you the list and the payment instructions. You can follow me on Twitter. And of course, you're watching this on my YouTube page at the Stockyard. So remember to like and subscribe while you're over there. And that's it. Um, 2022, I said before the year started that nobody knows what it's going to bring. The, the view's the same for everybody. And um, this week, things just got cloudier or uglier, so to speak. So that's it. I'll see um, many of you Tuesday night. Have a good week. Um, it'll be interesting to see what it brings. I know Tuesday Powell is scheduled to testify before Congress. Um, so we had a wicked Wednesday. I don't know if we'll have a terrible Tuesday or if um, he'll walk back some of the stuff that rattled the market. We'll just wait and see. So that's it. Have a good weekend routine.